Wait. Oh, bro. How much broccoli? Tell me. Oh, training, information, weekends, ranting, progress. I can't even think of it. All of that shit, mate. All of it combined. Check out this cunt. Talking about me, I was like, "What are you talking about, mate? Like, I can't do that. I can't do that." It took me like six months, but now that I stopped training for failure, man, my performance in the gym is through the fucking roof, man. It took a while to get used to it, but now that I'm getting used to it, like, oh, it is the bomb, mate. Like, I don't understand how people don't like keep still think that training to failure every set, every workout is the way to go, mate. Like... I don't understand it. If you want to get stronger, don't do that shit. Don't do that shit. It's the quickest way to burn out your CNS and not like just. If you're training twice a week and you're going to failure every workout, you're just gonna your recovery is just not gonna be chilled. Like I don't know, some people may do it, but like. For me, man, when I started getting used to it, I was still going to failure a lot, doing it twice a week, and I just fucking, it was just killing me, right? Program. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Get, like, get off the meal plan. It's just like the meal plan, mate. Get off the meal plan. Learn, like, just basic fundamentals, mate. Volume, intensity, frequency. Frequency, how many times you train per week. You're doing five sets of six, you know, you, the amount of reps you're doing is the volume, mate, okay? And then the intensity. Inten and I'm not talking about intensity as in, yeah, fucking, you see, you see Mark go in the corner, man, with his eyes bleeding with blood, like, screaming, dripping and sweat. I'm talking about in intensity as a percentage of your one rep max, like, how close are you going to that? Or, you know, people gauge it from failure, whatever you want to, whatever you want to do, all right? Learn how to balance them three. Get on a structured program. Jim Reynolds, Fine 3 1, Late Norns Fat. All of them. I don't know, man. Just get on something structured. There's a million fucking programs in the internet. But the fundamentals, mate, are them three and progressive overload. If you constantly are progressively getting better, adding weight to the bar, and you're in a calorie surplus, mate, you're going to get bigger. You're gonna get bigger, you're gonna get stronger, mate. Okay? A lot of the strength you get at the start of your movements is just neuromuscular efficiency. Your body learning how to fire all the muscles properly, getting used to the movement. But once you stick with the movement for a while, and you're progressive, and if you're eating enough and you're in a calorie surplus, and you're progressively, you know, you're all fucking a big G, mate! Get away from it, step back, you know, look at the science of training. It's, it's training's a science, eating's a science. It's not, you know, Marco doesn't come up and tell you, you know, you've got to be hardcore and shit. It's a fucking science, man. So step back and look at the literature. Read, mate. Educate yourself. Don't just be a dumb cunt and listen to other people. Because that's not going to get you fucking anywhere. Read, okay? Don't do these whack bro splits. Like, do a bro split, all these, like, once a week body parts. Like, if you want to do that, do that, okay? If that's what you enjoy, do it. Because if you enjoy it, you're going to get better results. But if you really want to optimize yourself, be optimal as fuck. Train, twi train everything twice a week. Get on high frequency training if you're natural. Do all that, mate, okay? Do it. It's gonna be, it's the best fucking move out there. I'm telling you. Mate, go smoke your joint, be a shit cunt, or sit back, think of the red sharing, think about it for 15, 20 years. No! Must track Vince. Like, look at like how sunken the side he's got now. These fucking whack bitches on this fucking program, mate. Where where are their fathers, mate? Where's your fathers, mate? Real fathers do not let their fucking daughters do this shit, mate. You step your game up, mate. Look at this shit on Tinder. Chicks looking to hook up with dudes online, mate. Give me this, give me this. Oh, look at this, mate. Look at this. It's not even that thin. It's not even that thin.
Look at the thinness, Stenna. Stenna, what do you have to say about the thinness? Uh, it's like unique and excellent. Way first, thin, mate. Basically, <laughs> mate, underground, uh, like, prosciutto slash salami lads and shit, one to buy like ten. <laughs> For press use only, Baby Grand Records. Cheeks. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Abdullah. Look how thin that is, mate. That's it. Look how thin. Look at, look at that thin. Like, so thin, mate. Who's not a slice that? <laughs> have to hit it for five sets of six. Don't come in and go, oh yeah, you know what, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna hit sets of ten and shit. And then just no, stick to the program, man. That's that's what I've learned, dude. Stick to the program. Every time you just go back to the program. The program says six, do fucking six, mate. Don't go off it. And then you'll constantly just be getting better. Small steps, mate. Even if it's a kilo every week. At the end of the year, mate, like what I said before, I've added 25 kilos to the squat for more sets with better form. I plan it like, do you know what I mean? That's how it happens. Same with the dead. Like my dad's gone up probably my five, like four rep max is going to go big. Like, I'm going to hit that soon, like in a couple of weeks. It's probably going to go up 45 kilos, 50, 60 kilos. From planning and programming, mate. Get on it. Peace. <laughs> what are your macros? Macros? Good classic. Quick, go. Quick. 70, 80, 30. <laughs> Not percentages, mate. I want grams. <laughs>Do we clean? Are you a clean eater? Nod your head, mate. She blinked, that means she's a clean eater. Fuck Adelaide party girls.